Hi, my name is Stephanie and I work for a consultancy agency in Munich that deals with online reputation management, which means that I get to deal with social media every day. And this week I would like to talk to you about transparency and how companies can deal with the transparency that comes with being there on social media and communicating online. Because a lot of companies are actually a bit afraid of putting themselves out there because there is no private conversation between companies and consumers anymore. There used to be private phone calls or maybe a letter in the post or even an email. And the only thing that could happen to you was that they tell their friends in person. But that's not how it goes anymore. Now, word of mouth travels online via social media or writing platforms or blogs or it's all over the web, basically, that people are talking about you and your company but I would like to talk about the benefits you actually have from putting yourself out there, not being silent, communicating online and putting your company and your brand and even your personal brand on social media and online communications. So there are a lot of benefits if you think about it. First of all, you're closer to your customers. Like, if you put brand ambassadors and make it more personal, like I've suggested in previous videos, your consumers will feel that they're actually talking to a person. Like, they're not calling a you know, generic number or they're sending an email to a generic email. They're actually talking to a person with a face and a name. So you're very close to your consumers and they won't rant in a really nasty way to, um, to a person, but to a logo they might. So if you're more transparent by putting your employees out there, you're closer to the consumers and you're having a, a more fruitful dialogue. Also, before, you couldn't look into the heads of your consumers, like you couldn't, you didn't know what they were actually thinking because they were only communicating it to their friends offline, but now you know. So um, you can close gaps in your consumer support and your customer service. So when you feel like people are complaining about a certain thing, you can close that gap. And that goes hand in hand with sort of innovation processes. When you feel that people are complaining about the same thing all the time, now you can see that and you can use it to put it towards your innovation and, you know, fix that. And also you can um, put your brand out there and your employees out there to um, get some benefits in employer branding, which means you get in, in the war for talent, you get the good people that want to work for you because they see you're a good company, you treat your employees nicely, or you know, you're not afraid to show them what it's looking like in your company or how the working conditions are, or what sort of material they're dealing with. So if you're really transparent, you um, put positive um, Google juice towards your employer branding brand and then um, you're also very authentic because if you if you really forward and you know transparent and you're communicating even errors and successes all the time about social media like blogs or you know your your social media newsroom or something then you get a lot of credibility and people you know trust your brand and they are they will be loyal towards you and they will buy from you because they believe you're an expert in what you're saying and then also you can do agenda setting which means that you know if you, if you're transparent and if you if you regularly post on social media you get yourself up there in the google ranking which means that even in times of crisis which is another benefit um, you're out there with your content and you're the source number one for information, even in times of crisis, but it also means that with issues that concern your company, you're way up there in Google. And that all combines towards your online reputation. That's the biggest benefit you can get from transparency because um, being close to consumers, being trustworthy, being open, you know, all of that, showing that you trust your employees to represent your brand, all of that will contribute positively to your online reputation. So really, from being really transparent and authentic with your online communication and, you, and you know, taking um, all of that, embracing all of it and putting yourself out there, you can only win because if you're silent, people will talk about you anyway, but you're not part of the dialogue. So transparency is really good for your online reputation management which I learned this week. I would like to know what you think about this, how you do this, how you handle it. Like, you know, are you putting your employees out there or do you not like that? Or are you really communicating authentically about what you do as, you know, socially or whatever? I would really like to hear um, your feedback on this. And um, I hope I see you back next week.